but before this video starts, I just want to say I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers. So all you gotta do is subscribe and turn on notifications, and then head over to the video in the top of the description and uh, like that video and tell me in that video, comment down why you would what you would buy with the gift cards for PlayStation or Xbox. It could be V Bucks or anything. So yeah, just do that and you'll be in with the chance of winning when I hit 1,000 subscribers. Tell you mates. Right guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be predictions for match day 1 of the Premier League out of 38. So I'm hoping to do all 38, but uh, it just depends if I'm around early enough to do it and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, obviously match day 1, uh, everyone's playing uh, over 3 days, um, Friday, today and Saturday and Sunday. Yesterday's video I did um, the predictions for the Premier League table, so check that out. I'll have a little card at the end of the video and a card now. So, uh, yeah, click that in the top right once you're done. But, yeah, like we're saying, match day one of 38 for the Premier League 2018-19 season. So, starting off, Man United versus Leicester. I think this is should be an easy win for Man United. So, I've gone for 2-0 here. Uh, like, they haven't signed anyone, but uh, should be beating Leicester, really. Uh, Newcastle versus Tottenham. I've gone for 1-0 for Tottenham. I don't think... Obviously, Tottenham didn't sign anyone. Newcastle, they're home... I don't know. I've gone for the Tottenham win because of just like Tottenham played so well last season. So yeah, that's why I've done that. Uh, Huddersfield versus Chelsea. I've gone for one 0 to Chelsea because I don't think Chelsea is uh, uh, strong enough to. Uh, I don't know away from home as well on the first game. I don't think they're strong enough to get many more goals than that. So I've gone for one 0 for them. And then uh, Bournemouth versus Cardiff. Obviously, I'm a Cardiff fan. I've got a Cardiff top on there. Um, could say I'm biased, but I'm going for 2-1 for Cardiff. I'm hopeful. Everyone thinks we're getting relegated, which is fair enough, because we haven't signed many good players, but uh, I yeah, I do think Cardiff will win. Uh, we're away from home, but we've got great away f uh, supporters. So, uh, yeah, I think we will win. And I'm going 2-1. Watford versus Brighton. I've gone for nil-nil in that game. No one's going to score, I don't think. Uh, it's going to be probably a tight game. Um, I think they're, like maybe mid-table teams, so, yeah, Fulham versus Crystal Palace, I went for 1-0 Fulham, Fulham at home, uh, if it was the other way around, maybe it'd be 1-0 Crystal Palace, I think that might be a tight game, to be honest, Fulham obviously spent about 100 mil in this transfer market, so a lot of players, but I do think, well, uh, they could flop, you never know, so, uh, yeah, that's uh, the reasoning behind that one, Wolves versus Everton, Wolves at home in their first game, obviously buying basically half of Portugal, uh, so probably I, I'm saying one one. Uh, Everton also bought. I think this uh, been a great transfer window for Everton. So um, yeah, I've gone for one one uh, just on the fact that I think Everton have bought some great players as as long as as well as Wolves. So yeah, that's that. Southampton versus Burnley. I think Southampton do awful this season, uh, and also I reckon Burnley will do pretty well again. Obviously last season Europa League, awesome stuff. I've gone for one 0 Burnley in that one. Liverpool versus West Ham. Uh, I'm going to be putting uh, 3 0 on Liverpool because uh, Liverpool obviously signed loads of players. Allison in goals now. Uh, Fabinho uh, or Fabinho, I'm not sure. Um, Naby Keita. Uh, obviously, their strike force is amazing. Uh, it's just a great team, so I think uh, they'll probably win. Uh, well, they'll definitely win, I reckon. West Ham don't seem that great. Uh, I don't know, new manager, Pellegrini, never know, never know, it could be good. But uh, Liverpool, uh, with their signings and with Klopp, probably get at least two goals. So, on to the last game, which will be playing on Sunday. Arsenal versus Man City, the biggest game of the match day. So, uh, I'm going to go for 2-1 to Man City, away from home. Man City, I reckon, are going to win the Prem, spoiler for the uh, prediction. But, with the, how strong they were last season, it, uh, they're so good. But there is one concern. Man uh, Arsenal obviously have their new manager, Emery. So you never know. You could just pull something out of the bag. Obviously, Wenger, it just wasn't going well uh, towards the end end of his uh, time at Arsenal. So that's why I've uh, put down Arsenal for a loss. But you never know. Emery could actually do pretty decent. So, yeah, that is all my predictions. Put yours in the comments if you did uh, disagree with one of them or a few. 
definitely uh, say why and uh, what you'd predict in that case. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you want to see more of these matchday predictions, probably do them every week, like, uh, like I said. If you do, uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already.